Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens when you get hired at a company and they give you a big check and say, hey man, we're going to pay you top dollar, but you're also going to be doing some mid-level work. Now, this is what happened to one of our subscribers. And we're going to go in and actually share the email. Um, shout out to him for sending me this email. I blocked off his information, his name, everything. I inspect element, remove the images, everything. Okay. And it says, hi, Joe Santos Garcia. I'm a software engineer who took your yearly plus course last year. You advised me to go for any position, whether it is mid to senior level about a month ago. And I recently applied to a mid to senior level at one of the biggest companies here in Washington, DC. I failed almost every interview, right? 50 interviews in the last few months. After getting through the interview process, they offered me a job for almost 90,000 for a mid-level position. Mind you, it's his first job, okay? I don't know if I'm qualified for it, but anyway, I signed the offer letter today. I just want to say thank you and I would love your advice for this position since I have never worked on this company before. I really need advice at this point since the job is completely remote. Okay, so this is another key point. They really want me to start ASAP. Thanks. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so I basically just told him, hey, man, congratulations. What's the position? What will you be doing? Why are you so nervous? You got a great job. 90K for your first job. It's amazing. You're doing way better than me. Also, the fact that you're working from home is great. It allows you to search without feeling the pressure of having someone behind you. Okay, so that's something that he has to keep. Um, you know, into account that shoot, man, you're working from home. You got a great opportunity, bro. You basically working from home. All right. So you're getting paid top dollar and you're going to be working on the things that you are interested in. Right. Um, another thing that he sent me was, uh, sorry for the late reply. I was doing some tests. Okay. They want me to work on a full stack applications using oh. react JS, JavaScript, HTML, CSS on the front end, which is something that I'm really comfortable with. They also want me to know Docker, uh, NoSQL, Kafka, AWS, GCP, Elasticsearch, and a whole bunch of other stuff, right? Um, but yeah, they triple my salary. So let's say he was earning about $30,000, $35,000 around there. Guys, he's making $90,000 right now, okay? He came through the, the platform, codingface.com. Again, you could do the same. Uh, everybody has different results, but this is great, right? This is a great opportunity for him. He's actually doing better than me. My first job that I got paid for doing any type of web development, I got paid $13 an hour. He's here getting $90,000. My guy, think about the positives, okay? Think about the positive. If you got this position and you got this offer, it's because they looked at your portfolio, they looked at the work that you have done, and they feel like you're going to be an asset to the team. People don't go in and just start handing out jobs, especially remote, unless they feel that the person is qualified for the work. Now, if for whatever reason they've given you this opportunity and they've given you more work than you can actually do, that's something that you have to just be honest and, and, and say, hey, man, uh, I'm going to need some time to learn these things like maybe AWS, maybe some NoSQL, like, you know, Mongo, uh, MongoDB, maybe some Elasticsearch, right? Those are things that you're going to have to learn. And they know that because I'm pretty sure you did not have that on your portfolio. You did not have that on your resume. So they already taking that into account. So most likely what they're going to do is they're going to have you working on the front end, right? And they're going to show you, hey, this is how our back end works. This is how our application works. As you continue to build more things on the website, you're going to learn the whole folder structure. You're going to learn the whole tech stack and you're going to learn as you go. They know what level you're at. Okay. Don't think like, oh, maybe that I swindled myself ended that I somehow made it through the cracks and, and, and somehow I made it in here and they don't know that I don't know Docker and I don't know AWS. They know that. <laughs> Trust me. They will be stupid if they go in and be like, hey, could you go in into AWS and start setting this stuff? Like, they're not going to do that to you. They're going to have you work on the things that you're already good at, where you can actually be an asset. Then from there, as you continue to grow within the company, they're going to give you other tasks to play around with whatever it is that they have, and you're going to learn from there. Now, of course, my advice to you is start looking into these things. 
Okay, look into Elasticsearch, look into Docker, right? So by the time you go into work, you have a knowledge of what exactly is it that it does, what exactly is there uh, for, right? So you're not going in there completely blind. You want to really impress your team? Take this time to do research. Take this time to try to learn some of these things. You don't have to learn everything. You don't have to master it. All you need to know is understand how these things work and just the concepts of it, okay? So focus on that. Now, again, focus on the good side of this. You're getting $90,000, okay? And you're getting paid freaking amazing to do something that you enjoy and that you love. You enjoy being a developer. You enjoy coding, right? This is something that you've been wanting to do. Now you have it. Think about that, right? If they hire you, they gave you an offer letter is because they know you can do the work. They're not going to have you put, you know, building, I don't know, machine learning and, and data science. This has nothing to do with what you do. And if they try to do something like that with you, then that's where they messed up, not you. At the end of the day, even if you was to stay at this company six months, a year, two years, this already is a plus to you. You already got your badge. <laughs> this is what you've been wanting for. Like you've been waiting for this thing. You, you've been wanting this, this whole opportunity to have that badge that now you worked at a major company as a developer. Okay. Take advantage of it. Go in there, go in there like a sponge, you know, soak it up. Now, again, this is another thing that where you might be a little bit scared. And it's the fact that you're working remotely. What does that mean? Can I ask questions? Oh, I'm going to get stuck and I'm not going to have nobody to help me out. You don't need somebody to be right next to you to figure things out, right? Somebody can really help you out just through chat, through Slack, through Discord, whatever it is that they use, Zoom calls, right? Uh, you could even do peer programming with VS Code. Like, this is simple. You could go in there and learn about these things and ask questions to your coworkers, right? your colleagues. That's what they're there for. There's going to be somebody that's assigned to you that you can ask as many questions as possible to them because they want you to be productive and to, you know, to pick up everything as soon as possible. Right? So don't worry about it. You're, it's not like you're at home and you're like, I'm by myself. I, I don't have no contact. They, they're going to throw me in the deep end. No, you're always going to have somebody right next to you even though it's just not physically. Now, another thing that's great about working from home is that there is no pressure. If you was working at a company, and let's say, for example, you wanted to go to Stack Overflow, or maybe you wanted to YouTube something, or maybe you wanted to go back to one of our courses on Coding Phase, and you're like, oh, how did Joe do this? Or how did uh, this person do it, right? Let me go and try to see if I could implement that into my code. You wouldn't be able to do that. Or if you did it, you would be like nervous. You would be scared. You'd be like, oh my God, they're going to see that I'm on YouTube. Oh my God, they're going to see that I'm on, on Stack Overflow. Oh my God, they're going to see that I'm asking questions online. Like you're at home. You're good. This is the best position that you could be in. Getting paid top dollar, using the skills that you already know. And then on top of that, getting paid basically to get trained. Okay. Um, so enjoy it bro enjoy it relax chill this is your time go in do your work um and ask questions right there's no stupid questions the stupid questions are the ones that never got asked and that's what you gotta always remember now ask your questions you know to whoever is assigned to you you're gonna be fine and again i want to say congratulations to you and don't worry you got me too here ask me questions i'll help you out as much as i can here uh through the community and also, too, again, if you go to community.codingphase.com, you could ask questions. You could uh, ask other people who are also developers to see what they think. This is safe space, bro. <laughs> you good, okay? So enjoy it. Congratulations again. Shit, bro. Like, you're doing way better than me. I mean, I got $13 an hour. You're making 80 something almost $90,000. Like, that's crazy. All right? So congratulations, bro. Um, again, for everybody that's here, that's watching this, guys, you got to go to codingphase.com, right? You got to try this out, man. Um, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to help you guys out. I'm here to, uh, you know, 
I put my heart and soul into the service, right? I love seeing these situations like this. Like, even though he's a little scared on his first job, but I love the fact that he's working. We prepared him pretty good that they're offering him, you know, $90,000 a year. Like, I'm happy for that. I'm happy that he's getting his results. You know, Betty Baggins is happy. She got her bag, right? He's got his bag. And the things that we focus on are the things that people need developers to do at a job, right? So at the end of the day, come try out codingface.com. This is no cap. <laughs> this shit happens every day. And I'm about to start doing these things where I'm going to uh, share some of the information of, of the subscribers and, you know, with protecting their privacy, uh, but also too just to bring motivation for more people because I feel it's very important to people to understand, like, just like you are just a regular dude, a regular girl who's trying to get into this industry, there's a lot of people just like you that's also making it, right? Uh, shout out to this individual. You know, he's been here since last year. He signed up last year. He's been trying to get into the game, and he was trying to go for a lot of, like, front-end, like, UI or junior de developer positions. And I told him, hey, man, I know the things that we taught you. I know the skills that you have. You don't need to just wait until a junior level position hires you. I know what level you're at. I know you could go into a mid to senior level position because just because it says mid or senior level position, it doesn't mean that every single thing that you're going to be doing has to be at a senior level, uh, you know, skill. Like there's times there's companies that put in role senior lead or senior uh, developer, senior UI engineer, etc. But then you come to find out you're doing the same thing that a junior developer does. Not every single company needs you to be 10 years in the game. Not every single company needs you to have, you know, a thousand skills. They might just need what you already know, which is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. And then from there, they could give you a couple of pages, a couple of components you could go and work on, a couple of bugs that you could kill, right? And that frees up the time for the guys that's been in the game for 10 plus years to work on the more complex, you know, skills or projects and, and you know, tasks that they might have. So at the end of the day, the way how you got to look at this is that... There's going to be a support group, right? There's going to be a support uh, team, right? And you most likely just got hired to be the support for somebody who might be overwhelmed with enough projects or enough tasks that they got to do on their own. And then now you, because you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React, you could help them out with those things that, you know, will free up more time for him. So, again, for those of you guys that's watching, come try codingphase.com. You see the prices, twenty dollars to get you started. Three ninety seven gives you the yearly plus, which gives you access to every single career path that you have right here. Okay. Uh, at the same time, we give you access to the community on codingphase.com. If you guys want to check it out, community.codingphase.com. We give you access to the yearly plus. We give you access to the accountability meetings, which is every Sunday where we sit down and as a group. And we go in and we talk about, you know, what's happening in your career, what's happening while you're learning, what do you need to do, how you got to fix your portfolio, how you got to fix your resume. We're getting some guests into um, this accountability meetings. It's a legit program that we have here at CodingFace.com. We have a great curriculum. Everything that you learn, you can start right here. Everything that you learn from here, you can literally pick up super easily and then from there continue growing on your career you could become an html email developer front-end developer back-end developer full stack developer react developer learn about shopify e-commerce shopify theme developer shopify app developer right you decide i want to build my own company we help you out with that show you how to set up your business right set up your llc set up microservices set up software as a service set up your business as a freelancer we go into that on the entrepreneur developer, okay? Build niche websites. Like it's a lot of stuff that we provide at codingphase.com for twenty dollars a month to learn all the programming courses, three hundred and ninety-seven dollars a year, right? A year. You could split that up in half, right? And with a twenty percent off, you're really paying like two two something, 
200 something, right? Like, take advantage, right? We give you so much value at codingface.com, and as you can see, it gets results, right? Uh, shout outs to everybody that's on the community. Your time is coming. If you're still applying to jobs, continue to apply to jobs, but don't limit yourself to just junior level positions, okay? As you can see, people are hiring developers for mid and senior level, right? Even though that's what it says on the title, it doesn't matter. I know we prepared you good. I know we gave you the skills. Come try it out. Okay. Um, so I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Take care, guys.